back to the Citizen Channels. We're back in Premier League action after the excitement of the Champions League. Yes, we're welcoming Luton Town to the Etihad on the 13th of April 2024. 3pm kickoff, so it won't be on telly, guys. And, of course, uh, it will be if you have certain ways of watching it. But uh, if you're there like me, come up and say hello if you spot me. Match day 32, of course, as we get near the crux of it. And, yes, we've got a change We've got a change in favouritism to win the title. I wonder, what, wonder why that happened, but uh, we'll talk about that later. First of all, we're going to look at uh, Luton Town, of course. It's nice to see Luton back in the Premiership, isn't it? I don't hold any grudges uh, for them giving me one of my worst days of my life supporting City over 40 years ago. Yeah, I've had worse since, so yeah, I'll let them off with it. A lot of water's gone under the bridge since then, so I'll check out how they've been doing. And of course, sandwiched between our two massive Champions League games, uh, we'll have a look at what Pep might be playing, what what eleven Pep might be coming up with this week. Um, certainly makes interesting reading when I've done it, but uh, we'll see. I, I, I'll be happy if we get eight and nine right. In fairness, right? Please, if you are new to the channel, push that subscribe button, push the bell notification. It's great to have you on board. Everything City past, present, and as long as I can keep going. I mean, I, I put the wrong dates on some of my thumbnails for that uh, Champions League game. I was that excited? I put nine for September. Instead of 9th of April, never mind. Uh, yes, uh, it's old age. I, bl I blame old age. So let's have a look. Please check the channel. You'll see some film and TV stuff as well. So if that's of any interest to you, or perhaps someone you, you know might be interested in that, it's not interested in the football bits, you might be interested in that. Give them a, a kick in my direction. I'll be very, very grateful. But it's all about the football today. It's all about Luton Town, isn't it? Well, how are they doing? They're not doing so well, are they? And uh, it's a free hit this season. You have a free hit in games, don't you? I think Luton Town, it's been a free hit playing game. And I like how they played. I think I think I love the way they've had a go. Um, <laughs> it's not, it might not work for them, uh, but they've had a go all season. All credits and more, more perhaps than some other teams that have come up from uh, the division below and to come come from where they were in non-league football not so long ago. Absolutely amazing. The last six in the Premier League. A 1-1 one -one draw at Palace, a 4-3 loss at Bournemouth. They did rectify that. Luton 1, Forest 1, a Spurs uh, 2, Luton 1. A 2 nil loss at Arsenal. Of course, Bournemouth, who beat them 4-3 at their place the last weekend, uh, Luton managed to beat them 2-1, so they got revenge uh, for the defeat. After us, they've got Brentford at home, Wolves away, and Everton at home. So, yeah, probably think if they're not going to get anything against us, you've got a chance in those three. They give us a tough game in the league, that's for sure, but possibly, as expected, not quite as intense in the FA Cup, a bit more comfortable but for City. They're currently in the third relegation spot. Can they get to safety? Well, the bookies don't particularly think so, but there's a chance. Same points as Forest above them, but worse goal difference by uh, minus four. Of course, we've got the Forest, Forest debacle with point deductions, etc. But at the moment, that's how they stand. Everton, who again have had more points taken off them, uh, with a further points reduction, just two points better off. Uh, the Toffees, though, have a far superior goal difference, and Luton have played a game more as well. So Everton's still perhaps uh, OK. Brentford, four points above them. And Palace, five, and there's no one else really comes into the equation. So uh, Luton will be hoping one of those teams uh, stutters along and they can pick up some more points. But safety does remain a tough, tough task. Their top men, uh, Carlton Morris, nine goals, five assists. Elijah Adebayo, Adebayo nine, nine goals, zero assists. Chadozi Ogbena, five goals, one assist. Tahith Chong, five goals, no assist. And a guy who quite impressed me when he played against us in both games, uh, Ross Barkley, uh, four goals, six assists. Of course, uh, uh, from many years ago, would have taken him like a shot, Ross Barkley. I think a lot of uh, Premier League teams would have done, but uh, he's, he's doing OK at Luton. They've lost 10 of their 16 away games so far, winning just two. Let's face it, they'll need something to get anything at our place. And something, a lot, they'll need a lot to get anything at our place. But that, of course, will bring us to what sort of 11 Pep's going to put out. So we'll have a look at Pep's 11 and we'll start with a quick look at, um, you know, how, how we did with our squad against Madrid and with the game against Madrid coming up next Wednesday. What, what are we going to do with it? Well, the squad away to Madrid uh, read something like this, or read like this. Ortega, Akanji, Stones, Diaz, Gavardio, Rodri, Kovacic, Bernardo, Foden, Grealish and Haaland. And on the bench, a couple of these might have been saved saved for the Luton game. That's a one way of looking at it, isn't there? Ed Edison, Carson, De Bruyne, Doku, Alvarez, Gomez, Nunes, Bob, Sissoko and Lewis. 
Right, we need to beat Luton and Madrid, so it'll be fine balancing act this one, that's for sure. On the bench in that uh, first leg of the Real Madrid game, to start, hopefully Kev uh, has recovered and he can come in for Foden for me. If, if that late stamp on his Achilles needs a little bit of a rest, uh, I'll swap Kev for Phil. Uh, no detriment against Luton, I don't think, if we did that. Edison or Tiga, now I don't envy Pep that one, that's for sure. A lot of City fans are probably angling between Ortega at the moment, but uh, some have been put off a little bit um, at the, the game at Real Madrid. He didn't do anything wrong particularly, but uh, against a bit more pressure, he perhaps wasn't as clinical in his clearances and dinking them out as uh, we knew Edison would be. But he didn't do much wrong on Tuesday, so uh, Edison's blood might start continue to boil and simmer because I'm, fi I'm, I'm myself 50-50 at the moment. But I do come down on the side of someone because I'll do my Pepsi 11 in a minute. I'm not going to put them both in there, although we might have a chance then. It's still possibly no Walker. I think that's fairly nailed on. I expect him perhaps to be on the bench. Might get a few minutes. I'm not too sure. Aki is a problem, of course. We don't know when he's coming back. So Lewis must come into the equation. I'm not surprised at all if Gomez gets a start in this one. I have to give sort of a Gavardi or a rest or a Kanji or Diaz. But uh, yeah, Gomez. Gomez could get a little start in this one. And I think I think. Pep's got a bit more faith than him now uh, than he perhaps had 12 months ago, but uh, that's only because he's not he's not been playing to make mistakes, I suppose. Alvarez will be suited to Luton, I think. I don't think that's a problem. I think he played it there, placed into you, certainly in the league match. And no surprise, of course, to see do Doku or Bob. Of course, Pep went to Bob last time, didn't he, in a big game? Um, but I think Doku will be champing at the bit. And I think Doku, if either of them two start, would get would get the benefit of the doubt if they start. And surely Nunes can do a job against the Hatters as well. Uh, certainly if we're missing someone like Foden and Bernardo, who I think might be rested for this one. Uh, I mean, the only non-starters from that bench, definite for me, that are not going to come into the reckoning, are Carson and Susoho. Su 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 so I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not pushing the boundaries there too much, am I? So definitely rested from the start 11. Not already mentioned, again, I would say Stones, Diaz, Gavardio, Rodri, Bernardo and Grealish. So there you go, six, six names rested of the guys who started against Real Madrid so Pep would have to make a raft of changes and this season it's not been as detrimental I don't think if we've made five or six changes in previous seasons uh, we looked a, looked a bit of a drop off but I think it's been a bit of a less of a drop off this time because I think we're playing more as a team uh, perhaps not playing quite as well so we've not got as far to drop uh, and I think we can get away with a few more changes these days than we would have done you say previous seasons so based on all those what, whys and wherefores, this is my 11 guys. Let me know what you think of it. I will as I say I will come up with the goalkeeper now. So it was 51-49 this one. And I could be totally wrong. As I said, I'm not worried either way at the moment, the way things are going. I've got Ortega, Luis, Kanji, Diaz and Gomez. Kovacic and Nunes. KDB. Alvarez, Doku and Haaland. So there you go, that's six changes to the Madrid game. And of course, that would leave on the bench certain guys, certain players like Stones, Guardiola, Rodri, Bernardo, Foden, Grealish, Bob and Lewis. Uh, Bob, sorry, I've got Lewis in the team, I'm talking Bob. So yeah, I mean, I think that's a strong bench. So and if things aren't quite going to plan, we've got an option of bringing one or two on, but Pep won't want to do that. And these boys should do the business. As I say, we have to think ahead of... I don't blame Pep one iota thinking ahead to the Wednesday game against Real Madrid. I, I certainly don't blame him. I've ignored Walker, of course, because I just don't think he'll start. As I say, hopefully he'll get on the bench and might get a run out. Aki's still a big mystery. and uh, He's a big, big, big miss for us, I think, Aki here. Uh, we could do with him back as soon as possible. But uh, I've not put them into the equation. Right, the predictions. Uh, nothing from Andy again. There's not been no City magazines lately. There must be one due out. It's been a while now. So I'll give you my little prediction on this. Uh, yeah, Luton do tend to score. Uh, and we do tend to concede. Um, occasionally I've gone for a, a clean sheet, but not so much. I mean, I would be tempted with this one to go for a clean sheet, but just to be safe, I've gone for the boring 
three one option uh, three one to six i'm hoping it'll be four five six one or something like that because we need the goal difference up but uh, i'll settle for three one at the moment and the three points and that's you can get ten to one on that at the uh, at the old bookies so what are the rest of the odds looking like before we uh, shoot off city back into favoritism there we go back to favorites now for the league title yes we've gone from two to one uh, before palace away and the other weekend games we've gone back into six to four only slightly low because arsenal have now moved into second favourites I mean they've jumped from 11 to 4 against you can now get seven to only 7 to 4 best prices for Arsenal so uh, breathing down our necks but at least we're back in favouritism and poor Liverpool have been you know just because you can't beat United they've been stumped out to 23 to 10 now from uh, 5 to 4 so they've almost doubled in price on that basis so they're not fancying Liverpool, Liverpool. Oh, shame, isn't it? But uh, let's hope uh, by the, by a couple of weeks' time, it's Arsenal that are dropping down and City have gone odds on again. As soon as City go odds on, it's probably in the bag, isn't it? But uh, it might be a little while yet. Liverpool, of course, uh, say third favourite. There's nobody else, nobody else. City, Arsenal, Liverpool. There's no, bookies out taking bets, I don't think, on anybody else now. There's no point. Or if you're daft enough to do it, fair enough. Uh, match odds themselves against Luton Town. City are 1-10 to 10 on. I think that's one of the shortest I've seen this season. Um, disrespected Luton a little bit there. A draw is 11-1. to 1. And a Luton Town win is 25 to 1. Other popular City win score lines, because we're talking 50s to 1 for a Luton win. Uh, 3 0 is 6 to 1 for City. 2 0 for City is 15 to 2. And a 4 0 win for City is 8 to 1. Well, there you go, guys. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you're having a little flutter on this. Of course, it's uh, Grand National Day, isn't it? I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I mean, I'm not as into horses as I used to be many, many years ago, but uh, I, I always like to watch the National, and it's uh, the fact that we're playing at the same time. It's always a bit of a pain, really. I hate, I hate I mean, it. We always seems to happen. I think we've had more home games when the Grand National's on than, than the other way around, so a bit disappointing. So anyway, let me know if you're having a flutter on City or whether you're having a flutter on the Grand National. And uh, as I say, I'm, I'm, I doubt I'll be having one. If I don't watch it, I can't see the point, to be honest with you. Check out my player rating show, of course. That should be out Saturday evening. And I think uh, the story of the game will be out Sunday. I can't see it. It'll be fairly late Saturday evening by the time I've done that. So uh, that will be out on Sunday. And, of course, join me next Monday uh, for Pep's pre the preview show, Pep's 11. Of course, on the visit, it stands at 3-3, doesn't it, against Real Madrid, the visit of Real Madrid. So join me on Monday for a, a very interesting Pep's 11. And let's hope there's good news on people like Walker. Uh, I've sort of give up on Aki and Foden's OK. But uh, let's, hope, let's hope we've got a near enough full squad to take them to the cleaners. So join me for that. Thanks for watching, guys. What are we going to do the rest of the day? Have a great one. Look after yourselves, look after your friends, look after your family, look after everybody, whether they're blue or whatever colour. All right, I won't mention the other colour. It'd be great to, uh, best to do that, isn't it? And I only ask one thing, don't I? Just please stay, stay safe, everyone. Thanks for watching. Come on, sissy. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.